All right, let's uh, let's run it back. We just had a very failed run on Pierre that uh, probably won't even make it on YouTube. It was uh, it was so tragically terrible. Uh, but let's uh, I want to try I think Kudo because I think I think with Blood Drain there might be some capacity for uh, for Kudo to have a lot of. Uh, a lot of capability. Yeah, any we got we got wrecked, but that's okay. Recover HP equal to the bleed. Blood surge, bloodletting. Energy from blood. Activates after you apply two bleed stacks. Gain one channel and six critical. Power from blood. Activates after you apply two. Gain fury and guard. Gain eight guard. Recover HP equal to bleed. Deal 19 damage plus 4 for every bleed on target. I can't tell. Are we supposed to be bleeding ourselves or them? Let's try this. It was between this and, and Doomsayer, and I think Doomsayer is really hard to make it work. So let's try it. Let's try Blood Mage. I've never played uh, Kudo Blood Mage before, so that's how you know it's going to go really well. We'll go back to normal. <laughs> go figure uh energy siphon no forge nodes quicksand i'm gonna go for this one because it's the longest hmm says kudo so many fate tokens floating around So over here contains crates, which is nice. This contains crates, difficult terrain, and quicksand. This fight's going to be kind of a mess, I think. But no better way to learn how to play a character than, than to die in a solo run early on, right? Okay, so we can pitchfork to move that out of the way. Deal 9 damage, apply 4 bleed, potent. Okay, I want to get these crates destroyed, if at all possible. So, power from blood. Activates after you apply 2 bleed stacks. Gain 1 fury, gain 4 guard, retain. So when I do that, so I applied four bleed. I think this must be to myself only. Maybe. Okay, that just hit, hits everybody, I see. Uh, so is this going to give me guard? It is. It's going to give me guard equal... Okay, so... Okay, so... that did. Oh, the second one did not give me guard, though. Why not? Okay, so I just... I, I made myself take damage when I didn't expect to. Uh, huh. Because the second time I applied to bleed, it did not... The passive did not trigger, even though... And this guy just moved while rooted. Uh... I, I cry foul on that one. Let's see. I need to destroy these, but if I don't kill you, it's not going to happen. So that time it worked. I guess it only, it only works once per turn. Gain 8 guard, recover HP equal to bleed. Okay. I'm really trying to get these crates, but these doggos won't leave me alone. Okay, so this this time we should be able to. Okay. There we go. Oh, didn't quite get there. Uh, I don't... This didn't target them at all last time, so I think it would just kill the... 
Wow, look at all those status effects we're uh, we're generating. Probably should have saved the SP. Gain two armor, gain two vigil. Interesting. The tutorialization is weird. Now, what does our deck look like? Are we a strength-based hero right now? Pretty much yes. Like, Arcane Hail is powerful, but we'll probably let it go later, and we'll probably get rid of Energy for Blood, because I don't think we're using Channel right now. Well, Critical is not bad. And it's a passive, so it just stays in our hands, so we don't have to worry about draw related to it. So we will leave the deck as is. I'd use these if we had the decks, but we don't. I don't think it's worth investing in. So unfortunately, when we go to this shop, we're only going to have two fate, not three fate. 150 gold, single enemy. Okay, so we'll probably do that. Uh, I'm still going to go here to get the fate. Maybe we can pick up some, some void runes and a few other like odds and ends. Now, are we, are our attacks melee attacks? This is a melee attack. This is a ranged attack. This is an attack spell. Oh, so we're kind of all over the map, unfortunately. Our damage types are not uh, not consolidated. Probably pick this up. It affects at least one of our, our types. Uh, A Void Rune, and a Town Portal Scroll, and I think that's good. Then we can sell those. There we go. Can't gamble. All right, nowhere to go but here. I thought we could go here, I think. That that always confuses me. Those crossed uh their potion merchant, I don't think I care. Oh, dexterity is better than nothing. Wow, we can certainly haul Intelligence Rune. Okay, cool. We'll put that there, toss an Intelligence Rune in it. We have more blue slots than, uh, than I know what to do with. I Okay, so I'm starting to understand the Blood Mage class, just because bleeds are... Dangerous, but not that dangerous. And then we can pick up our third fate there, gain a bunch of gold, but we end up going there. Okay. All right. We got to kill this one guy. That should be easy. Okay. No problems here. Yeah, so the purge... Oh, the purge purges root, right? It does. Okay. You really have to understand how how bleed is going to affect your the things that are attacking you. Uh, for sure. Yes, at the beginning, uh, Annie, you basically... Each class here has four paths, which I think is very cool. Like, they've done a lot to make that... Uh, to make that 
that part of it work, and I've been super impressed by that. Uh, there we go. Clean kill. We picked up a worse helm that is also dex based. And for some reason, we just don't get the thing that we usually get. Uh, all right, we're, I guess it's just stoke the campfire over and over again. Because we're not, we're not going to get anything else from this. Minus two supplies, all unoccupied heroes draw chat. I don't think we want chat. I don't think that does anything for us, because I think that... Ooh, gain of fate. We didn't need it. Uh, and then we'll do one ration to get our exhaustion back down. There we go. Okay, so 220 gold. We'll do it for the curse anyways. Yeah, everybody's getting another path, Annie. I'm very excited about that. I think that's going to be uh that's going to be a big deal. All right, so four. I keep I keep thinking that's going to give me defend. That's going to defend me. Um because sometimes it does. Oh, minus two int. That's annoying. Well, we're not really an int character though. I wonder if that deactivates uh, gear when, when that happens. Uh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be glass cannons. Just get used to it, for sure. This is a straight lane, straight line lane melee. So we'll just do that. Yeah, I'm super excited to see what they do with the new paths. I think everyone having a third path is going to be huge as well. Like they just have to keep making them transformative. Like that's the, that's the key. If they do that, all will be well. This uh this character is surprisingly defensive. Uh like I think we're we're generating more uh armor with this character than we did uh towards the end of the game with uh with Lucius. Well, we'll see if that if that continues, but Now, was there one of these that That was, so we like limit break. But we want the, we want to get to the bleed one. I seem to remember there was a bleed. Gain 25% tw uh, chance per fury charge to apply bleed equal to 50% of your strength mod. Yeah, that's very interesting. We'll start out just by getting our strength a little higher. Now we could town portal to avoid this curse. I actually think that might be worth it because we also get a shop out of it. Now the lingering curse we don't want to mess with. Okay, uh, the tree is not worth it. don't think we're going to make it all the way over there. Uh, yeah, I do like this minigame. It's grown on me a lot. All right, let's get a huge legendary item here, please. Summon Spirit Bear. <laughs> 
I don't think we have the other things to make that work, uh, but that would be pretty humorous. Oh, cannot gain fury though. Seems very not like something we want. Apply 12 vulnerable. If target is rooted, apply three fragile. Hmm. None of these seem that great. Oh, wait, Blood Spurs. Grant Blood Surge. Oh, we really like this one. Oh, but it's a it's a cost 800, not a fate-based reward. Dang it. The fate-based rewards were pretty much a bust. We have another one we can go to, so I'm going to I'm going to save our money. Oh, and then we're fighting Fighting the snake boss that I don't remember, actually. Let's see, anything else we want here for blue runes? Attached skill, gain the limited modifier, cost SP instead of AP, cannot affect finishers. Interesting. Do we have gloves at all? No, we don't. What do these ones add? Int? Grab the war boots. And then I think that's it for us for now. We'll pick up another portal scroll, I think. Maybe one potion. Okay. Put some war boots on. We have no movement abilities, so... That won't do anything for us. Should have sold these. But now we have an emergency potion. We can sell them at the next one. Trigger an encounter. All right. Fighting time. He's going to summon something. So we'll... Uh... I was wondering if by moving him to the square where he was going to cast something, if that would, uh, if that would have stopped him from being able to summon. That would make a lot of sense. Learn a skill or grant, get some initiative. I think we learn a skill here. And then we're, we're in blood magic camp. Convert bleed to burn, apply 12 burn. Void flame seems very strong. Blood gush, deal 11 damage two times to all enemies. What? Hemorrhage, on round start, a random enemy with bleed takes 15 damage, retain. These all seem really good. I'm just like, Blood Gush seems like it could just blow everything up if we get our strength scaling going. But it's super expensive at 2 SP. Hit one additional time. Okay, so we're never getting a discount on it. We need to go for limit break so we have more SP. Hemorrhage just doesn't seem like it's going to scale. I'm going to go for Blood Gush. Even though I think early it's going to be pretty... Uh, it's not going to be great. Oh, can I not quite make it? Hold on, maybe if I... I I'm so close. <laughs> Alright, we can get it that way. This, uh... So do we want a rune or a consumable? I think we want a rune. Okay, so we can convert things to int, which is not useful. Oh, which one? What type of potion was that? Removes all negative status effects. Okay, that might actually be pretty useful. All right, let's hope we actually get a good item for fate this time. 
unaffected by poison ground, grants magic sword plus one intelligence-based challenges. Magic sword AP cost reduced by one. Magic sword restores two HP on. That's interesting. Cannot gain haste immunity to root with freedom greaves. I kind of think this might be good. If we re-roll this and turn magic sword into a strength, I think it's it's good. So I think we grab this. And then we can't gamble. But yeah, we need to switch this to... Uh, does it matter if this is interdex at the moment? Not really. I don't think. Eh, technically our int is slightly better, so we'll do that. But eventually we want to switch that to a red one. And uh, that could be pretty strong. But we have to beat the serpent. Oh, I remember the serpent now didn't enjoy fighting the serpent very much. Ah, I want one of these because of the things I just discussed. And... I can technically afford these. Wait, we have, we have gloves though, don't we? No, we don't. All right, let's, uh, let's get geared up at least a little. Even if they're not perfect. We already have almost more gear than we had in our last run. Uh, technically, this great sword... Oh, it is a two-handed sword. Technically, we could put a second... We can put a second wand here. If we come up with one. What was the wand in here? Plus two spell damage, plus two spell damage. This one, this one takes a... Uh, a spell. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's fight the snake monster. I seem to remember this, this snake was not the most fun to fight. Yeah, so it's doing at least two attacks. It doesn't seem like there's much we can do to avoid that. We, uh, we don't, we don't love what's going on here. Oh man, that's a lot of poison. Okay. We're going to have a bad time with this fight, I think. Uh, okay, so you're doing deal eight knockback. Okay. For every cell move. So we can just move back and be in a much better place. Oh yes, they can poison you, Annie. <laughs> oh, so we have we have the heal. Oh, we have blood surge for the heal actually. So that's pretty good. So let's uh just do the damage and then do that and spend the SP to move back like that. So we should only take the 8. Venom bite. So these are both cell, so we can uh, we can just move out of it. I think. Yep. Now vigil is more guard, and armor means that the guard hangs around. Both awesome. I think we're going to be okay. And by think, I mean, I don't think... 
I don't think there's a chance we don't get him. There we go. All right. Act one done. Two fate tokens, auger orbs. Very nice. Uh, we will get a legendary item. Because I always like getting a legendary item. Make it awesome, please. Magic missiles. Magic missiles apply burn. Not that interesting. Caltrops. Caltrops deal more damage. Trap cell. Deal 29 damage and applies 6 speed down. Plus 1 dex based challenges. Crit when applying speed down. Caltrops deal 7 more damage. Or more gold found. AP increased by 1. Reduced card draw. I don't like that at all. 7% increased. So I, I'm looking at the Caltrops, and I'm not hating the idea of the Caltrops. Because we have a lot of ways to move things around, so we can set down the trap, and then we can utilize it.